morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. Today we honor St. Clare, a disciple of St. Francis, and she entered into glory in 1253. Um, to my knowledge, uh, Francis and Claire were known as uh, uh, Brother Sun and Sister Moon. She was, uh, her convent was close to Assisi and uh, she established the Poor Clares and for 40 some years she was the abbess there and they just about gave away everything that they received uh, to the poor and to, to whoever needed it. They just maintained whatever they had to, to live on, just to be subsistent. Everything they received, they, they just gave away and, uh, to help uh, those who were in poverty and in need. So today we honor her at, at this Holy Mass. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for the most gracious and abundant mercy. on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I read the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Anything so great ever happened before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go in and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with his strong hand and his outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all which the Lord your God did for you in the land of Egypt before your very eyes? All of this you were allowed to see, that you might know that the Lord is God and there is no other. Out of the heavens he let you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth he let you see his great fire, and you heard him speaking out of the fire. For love of your fathers he chose their descendants and personally led you out of Egypt by his great power, driving out of your way nations greater and mightier than you, so, that, so as to bring you in and make their land your heritage as it is today. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the, Lord is, that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on the earth below, and there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments, which I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have a long life on the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord, yes. I remember your wonders of old. 
and I meditate on your works. Your, your exploits I ponder. I remember the deeds of the Lord. O oh God, your way is holy. What great God is there like our God? You are the God who works wonders. Among the peoples, you have made known your power. I remember the deeds of the Lord. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. You led your people like a flock under the care of Moses and Aaron. I remember the deeds of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what could one be in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with the angels on his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. In the family cartoon, the little girl is holding a tray and her brother is standing next to him with a scowl on his face. She says, don't worry, Jeffy. Mommy only calls these finger sandwiches. <laughs> the little boy thought she was going to be eating fingers, but I guess not. You know, thank God you and I we're not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To put up with the infidelities of the Israelite people, you have to be God to be able to do that. And you wouldn't think God, you and I are not God. We would probably pounce on them so badly that uh, you know, they wouldn't know what happened. But our God is a God of forgiveness, a God of, uh, of love, a God of uh, restitution, you know, um, he is the right God for the Israelite people who were faithful, unfaithful, faithful, unfaithful, faithful, unfaithful, worship the living God. That's all he asked of them to do. And he blessed them with abundance of this, that, and everything else. And still, they turned their face away from him, oftentimes in their history. Well, doesn't God bless us with abundance of this, that, and everything else too? And sometimes we turn our face away from him. In the gospel, Jesus says, these are the consequences of discipleship. If you really want to follow me, if you really want to be a Christian in this world, then you have to take up your cross, which means that there has to be some type of suffering in your life. Like Francis and St. Clair, their suffering was in poverty. What's your suffering? What's my suffering? It could 
could be all kinds of things. It could be poverty, financial problems. It could be family problems. It could be health problems. It could be neighbor problems. It could be all kinds of different, different things that kind of bug us, you know. Jesus says, because we are Christians, and we live as Christians, remember that we follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his son, Jesus Christ, who is God in the person of the Lord. We have to carry our cross every day, no matter what that cross is, or how heavy it might seem to be to you and me. And we have to give up way ourselves, as he says, you know, we have to die for him. In other words, we give ourselves away so that there is room for him in our lives, the true life that we want to live, the holy life we want to live, the sanctifying life we want to live. And uh, that's not always possible because of our free will. We, we trip up like the Israelites did. We trip up and, but God is a God, is a God who loves us, forgives us, and restores us to friendship and to his family. Never forget that. May I invite you to stand now and together to let us offer our prayers and our petitions to the Lord knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, transform us by listening to your word and by sharing in the Eucharist so that we can radiate your glory throughout our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the health and welfare of all the people be sustained and all the efforts towards peace be renewed, supported, and accomplished. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Bobby Timlin, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the examples of St. Francis and St. Clair in giving of ourselves to one another in the cause of carrying our cross each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Let us ask our Blessed Mother for her help. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. By the mystery of this water and wine, that we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, and made it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. May I invite you to stand and pray with a sense of poverty in our lives that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin uh, of, of St. Clair, we humbly implore your majesty 
that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in his marvelous confession of St. Clair and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer her us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example leads us to courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. So, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Turn these holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, some when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to have with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted spouse, with St. Francis, St. Clair, and all of the various saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And with poverty of heart, let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you, if not in our sins but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us happily share that peace with one another.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold our loving and saving God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Only say the word.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. Renew by partaking of this divine gift. We pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of St. Clair, bearing in the body of Christ Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in his peace. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day.